What's up, everybody? What's going on, YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee Talk. Thanks for tuning in. And man, I don't know if you guys caught this one, but Kid Rock got a little too saucy. Um, I don't know. It was wilding out, man. He went on a, a drunken rant. And um, I don't know, man. You know, uh, Kid Rock, way different. You know, uh, back when I was coming up, Kid Rock came into the game like doing a rap metal type uh music you know what i mean and um even collaborated with some rappers but you know it's total different he always had that rock obviously it's in his name but um you know his whole swag and the way he moves and everything is different nowadays but we'll talk a little more about that in a second let's talk about this rant that he went on um he was at his own restaurant which i wasn't even aware he owned a restaurant it's called like kid rocks honky tonk Fire and Grill or something like that. It's in Nashville. Um, <clears throat> which I... Yeah, what's that? Nashville? I don't know. Is Nashville the rock and roll? I know I know. Nashville has like deep rock and roll roots. I believe Memphis too or whatever. But anyways, he, um, you know, was at his own spot. And um, apparently he had a little too much to drink. Because, uh, you know, he was inebriated. Um, it, You could see it. You could hear it in his voice. And he got on stage. He performed... But uh, before, before the performance, he had some choice words about Oprah Winfrey, Joy Behar, and um, Kathy Lee Gifford. So, I'm going to roll this clip for you guys. Um, it's pretty vulgar. It's pretty vulgar, but let's check this clip out. I'll be back with some more commentary. Everyone, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. I'll be right back, you guys. so you heard that there like i said it is kind of vulgar um it's also not the best audio that was um two uh females who were who were at his uh restaurant slash bar um you know during this performance that he was putting on and you they're the ones that you can hear in the background talking there and i don't know man he just he just went off like he was um very twisted as I was saying, I mean, you could just hear it. He is saucy. He's lost in the sauce. <laughs> but um, he kept saying, like, everything you heard him. Like, I'm not going to repeat some of the things that he said, obviously. But he kept saying sideways. Like, I don't know what his whole obsession with the sideways thing is. You know what I mean? I guess, you know what I mean? Um, that's uh, I've never really heard that form of insult. Like, I don't know. Get in the comments. Let me know if I'm just tripping or like i don't know is that a thing that if you say something so to someone and then you say you say do it sideways like that's that's like you're going in on them more that's more offensive i don't know 
but um you also heard him he kept you know stating how much he disliked oprah kathy lee gifford and this joy behar and um you know he also when he kept speaking about oprah he kept saying you know i'm not racist i'm not racist um you know like was saying oh if i criticize oprah i'm racist i don't know you know what i mean um <clears throat> you heard the girls that were in the uh in the crowd there they that were recording they felt that he was uh that his rant was racist i don't know you guys can let me know uh, your opinion on that but anyways let's uh get back into breaking this all down now as i was stating you know music has kind of switched up as i said he came in the game with like uh you know a hip-hop element to his music you know as I said, he always, obviously, with his rock being in his name, he had a band, and, and rock was a part of what he did. But, um, you know, as time went on, the hip-hop kind of feel to it, he, he went away from that and got more into, um, you know, st strictly to the rock. And, um, you know, that's what it is now. But that is not the only thing that has changed about Kid Rock, something that is a lot different, um, you know, nowadays that he wasn't involved in before as he got into politics right he he got you know um i believe he even was gonna like take a run at office for for something i don't know if it was governor or or something but he he had some kind of interest in politics and he's you know hardcore republican and um you know that's what i believe all of this kind of boils down to his disdain for oprah kathy kathy lee gifford's kind of up in the air you know no one is um too clear on what happened there i mean him and him and joy behar have had a beef you know what i mean they've been going at it um i'll, I'll touch on that in a second oprah not exactly but um he put out a tweet saying that he was supposed to be on the oprah show before and um when he was going to be on the show the producers or something hit him up and said or his you know his team up and was like listen we want um kid rock to write out a list of five reasons why he wants to be on the oprah show or something like that or why he loves this show something like that and he was like nah i'm good you know what i mean but um i don't know as we know i don't listen real quick sidebar i don't really like to talk politics um if you guys follow my channel at all you know you'll know that already but i will say um you know what i mean i'm very my platform is all about hearing from everyone i constantly say that on every video i want to hear everyone's opinion your thoughts i can agree to disagree let's talk about things there's no name calling none of that wild stuff you know what i mean like let's keep it civil but i just want to say i won't engage in political arguments i don't talk politics it's a for sure way to get in an argument but um just wanted to throw that out there now getting back to this you know we know oprah what she's like her uh beliefs and everything is to the other side of what kid rock is you know what i mean now with joy behar okay she and him have had an ongoing feud for a while now it's uh you know they've went back and forth hurling insults at each other and what originally started started it was when kid rock took a trip to the white house with um ted nugent and sarah palin they took a picture in front of you'll see the pictures coming up on the screen of um a hillary clinton painting and you know did some kind of pose which joy behar she's on the view i, I forgot to mention that for those who didn't know she came out you know on her platform speaking about it and said that you know they were mocking her and how disrespectful they were and then kid rock went off you know called her some names and um, they've gone back and forth since then there was apologies and then you know still disses he called her a biatch <laughs> that probably sounded corny but you know he called her he called her a bitch you know what i mean and um they went back and forth and then in the end he was set to be in some kind of parade or something like that for for nashville and um you know he feels that joy behar's connections or whatever like she hollered at someone and got him pulled out of the lineup so they still you know are going back and forth um i could do a whole video talking on their situation that's it in short form but 
I don't really care enough about it to go on about it. But um, Kathy Lee Gifford is kind of up in the air. You know what I mean? Like, he hasn't spoke on exactly what her beef with her is. But I'm sure it kind of stems from the same kind of stuff. Since Kid Rock has got, you know, political and everything. And, and, and voiced that, you know, that's what he's rocking with and everything like that. He's been no stranger to situations like this. Like, arguing with people, going at, you know what I mean? These, these kind of antics and things like that but i ain't gotta say this came out of nowhere this whole drunken rant and um i don't know man like you know when you're drunk a lot of times you come out and you kind of you know how it is like sometimes they say people speak their true feelings but honestly a lot of times there's people that tell a lot of lies that try to big themselves up when they're drunk there's people that just act a fool and don't remember anything i don't know i don't know what his situation was but um he went off on all these uh females and i don't know man so you guys can get in the comments with all that and let me know what you guys think about this but um i don't know man like kid rock getting back to talking about the music to me i don't really know what's been going on with his career i like rock music I i'm a hip-hop fan but i do like rock music but once kid rock went that route like you know what i mean um deeper that route he kind of, I kind of lost track of his career, you know what I mean, like, when he was early on, and he was kind of doing the hip-hop stuff, I wasn't a huge fan, but I, I listened to some of his music, and when he went straight rock, I just kind of, you know what I mean, um, lost track of it, not, like, I, as I said, I do like rock music, but I'm more, like, older stuff, I'm not such a big fan of any rock music that comes out nowadays, I mean, with the exception of a few songs here and there, but, I don't know, uh, Kid Rock, it's a different look, like I said, from, you know, what he, when he came into the game, you know what I mean? Like I said, he collaborated with rappers and, uh, you know, uh, had a different sound and everything like that. And, it, you know, um, his lyrics were all wild about partying, about, you know what I mean? Like, what is that one song he said? All the crackheads, the critics, the cynics, and all my heroes in the methadone clinics. You know what I'm saying? And now, and he said, all you bastard in the IR all you bastards in the irs and now you know what i mean he's a hardcore republican and um like i said i don't know what happened with that but that's what i heard he was taking you know a run at politics must have not maybe worked out for him i don't know you know what i mean i don't like i said i don't really like to talk this stuff but um what do you guys feel about this you know what i mean but then, yeah it's like it's just an odd look to see him you know like this but you know poli we know politics a lot of it's all bs and uh, I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to continue talking about that stuff because that's not really what I do on this channel. You feel me? But um, I don't know, man. Um, what do you guys feel about that, though, the way he went in on Oprah, you know, um, and um, these other women as well? I, I'm sure we'll hear Oprah respond. But um, I don't know, man. Kid Rock lost in the sauce. He's been a part of your two for many years. He's always made that clear. Um, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of stories about him getting drunk, partying and everything like that. You know what I mean? Him and Pamela Anderson, Pamela Lee, whatever you want to call her. They were known to be out there partying. And, um, you know, he did, he did what he did. But um, still drinking, maybe, it seems. And, um, you know, he don't know when enough is enough, I guess. But um, that's all I really got, guys. Just wanted to speak on this and, um, you know, tap in with you guys, the people, and see what you guys think about this. But um, we'll probably hear from Oprah. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, for everyone new to the channel, as I said, I cover sports, music, news, life, current events, and much more. And I always bring updates on the topics. You know what I mean? If I cover a story, I try to keep you guys updated on it. But that's all I really got. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. And if you didn't already, take that quick moment. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. It's Jay Coffee Talk signing out. I will catch you on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.